Well, uh, you know, I uh, play various uh, roles, uh, uh, and roles like in Trinity Goodhart, which was played on uh, GMC uh, channel. Um, it, those are the good parts that I play in the sense of being the nice guy uh, and uh, uh, doing something with a message. Th those are always helpful. Um, it, it sort of like reminds you what films are all about and what films can do. And of course, for a livelihood, I do all the movies from uh, Blade Runner uh, and uh, Chuck Norris, uh, uh, I worked with him, and Charlton Heston, all these great actors, uh, even dating back to um, uh, Clark Gable. Um, so it's been a wonderful career in Blade Runner, working with these wonderful actors and directors in Big Trouble Little China and Golden Child, um, uh, to, to name just a very few. Absolutely. So today is my, um, let's see, I <laughs> forgot already, 84th birthday. So uh, I'm born on George Washington's uh, birthday, the real birthday, not the president's uh, day. <laughs> And, and so I've been in the industry, like I say, 60 years and done probably, I would estimate, 500 films and TV features and um, TV episodes on camera. And that's not including the voiceovers. I've done for Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2 and maybe number 3 coming up. But certainly on the TV series I've been uh, uh, on many episodes and like, um, oh, uh, what's that? A lot of Disney things like um, forgot the name of it. <laughs> These Disney things Absolutely. come quite often. Uh, so it's been just a joyful career. I started out as a civil engineer, mind you, uh, uh, back in 1953. After a year and a half of uh, civil engineering, I gave it up because the films just kept pouring, and I said, "I got to give it a try." Yeah. So it's a lesson to be learned in life. You really have to pursue what you love, and that will dictate where you're going to go in your life. You know, I, I like to talk to the young people out there who are interested in acting or just the performing arts. Is there something about you that wants to perform, whether it's singing or dancing? You want to express your feelings. You want to perform. What else can I say? And that's the way I felt when I was uh, growing up. But my parents, want, being very Chinese, wanted me to be a, either a doctor, lawyer, or engineer. So I chose engineering. And I graduated from USC as an engineer. But that spirit of wanting to perform just made me pursue that route. So it goes back to what you want to do in life again. <clears throat> of course, your desire plus your talent and your drive and your soul will determine where you're going to go. But you have to be true to yourself. You have to really want to do it and dedicate yourself because I sacrificed a lot of uh, play time and just study and uh, went to classes and uh, perform on stage, whether it's pay or not, for the love of it, you know, to create. And because of those early experiences, I picked up a lot of knowledge here and in here. And now I use that, that whole wealth of uh, uh, experience in the art of uh, performing, uh, of expression. It's like painting. You, you can't just say, okay, here's a canvas, I'm going to put some paint on there. What, what the, what, what's the paint? What, what are you doing? You know, you have to search to say, what have I got to say in life? And then say it in the way that you know how. Yeah, well, I hope you'll get a chance to see my new life documentary. Uh, it's called A Man of Thousand Faces at present time. And it's all about my adventure of uh, being born in Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I still have that Swedish accent. Yeah, I do. We, are, we come from Minnesota. We are good people. So, <laughs> so the whole thing about Minnesota and uh, uh, as a child, how I became an actor in, in church, of course, Presbyterian Church. Uh, uh, 
and from that time, it just kept on growing. So that's my documentary coming out very soon. And of course, if you want to find out everything about me, just go to my Facebook, James Hong page. I'll see you there. Bye.